So, a lot of stuff happened today, but naturally I forgot to film any of it. Because I'm still getting used to having to film every other day. But, I'll get used to it. So, since I didn't film any of it, I'll just have to describe it as well as I can. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, first of all, my school... The entire high school went to the movie theater, and you could either see The Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug, or Saving Mr. Banks. And since I had already seen Desolation of Smaug, and, except for the last 20 minutes, of course, uh, I decided to see Mr. Banks, because I felt The Hobbit was kind of boring this time around, and it was basically just a trailer for the next Hobbit movie. So I saw Mr. Banks, which, if you don't know already, is... A movie about Walt Disney trying to acquire the rights to the book Mary Poppins and the author doesn't want just the author is on set and stuff and she just hates everything they're doing and she keeps having flashbacks to her childhood it's it's really not a kids movie there's some serious stuff in there I mean there's some funny parts but there's some serious, it deals with serious stuff, like the, I don't want to spoil too much, but this, when I upload this, it'll, it will be, a, it will have been a year after the movie has come out, so, um, the father's an alcoholic, and the mother tries to commit suicide, so it's not a kid's movie, there's some serious subjects there. Um, yeah. So, during the movie, we got yelled at several times by the people sitting in front of us for just stupid things. Five minutes into the movie, before the movie actually started, mind you, the trailers, they lean back and go, Could you please stop talking when we had been whispering? Okay? Then, after another 20 minutes, when we were just dead silent, well, most of us, Ben was there, and, you know, he has to get his little comments in, well, most of us had been silent, they lean back and say, could you stop kicking our seats, which, I don't know if Ben and Tristan were, but I wasn't, so, yeah, uh, then we went back to school, and we just had the rest of the day off, essentially, but we had to stay in our home groups, which nobody did, I mean, the teacher who is basic, her name is Sherry. She's basically just an interim home group teacher until they can hire a new one, because the old one got a better job. So she bought dominoes for us all, but by the time we got there, all the cheese was gone. Well, almost all the cheese pizza was gone, which is all I can have, being a vegetarian. So, and it was nasty anyway, so my mom had packed me my own lunch, so I just had that. Um, and she put on Christmas music and stuff, and we played Monopoly, which I had never played before. And I've uh, finished the game with one dollar, so um, I still need to work on my strategy, I guess. And Ben called up Sherry's room, and Sherry goes... Tristan, you have a phone call. And once he, he explained this all to me after he got back. So she goes, Tristan, you have a phone call. And he picks up the phone and Ben goes, Oh, I can't believe that really worked. I told her I was your dad. And all he had to say was, I, I would strongly recommend that you take Photoshop next quarter. That's all he had to tell him. So, And then Tristan was, I don't know, sort of worried about this. Because after he got off the phone... Sherry made a point to look at him and go, who was that? But, you know, she's going to be here three more weeks, so I don't see what the point of that is. Uh, so we played Monopoly. I had, I became a ginger ale alcoholic, I guess, which, um, yeah. Um, then as we were leaving, our other friend who's in the home group, Fian, his grandmother has type 4 lung cancer, so he was calling his grandpa to check up, you know, as good grandchildren do. Sherry tells him to get off the phone, and he explains 
that he's just checking up on his grandmother because she could die at any moment. And she says, well, now is not the time for that. So, I'm really hoping, I'm really just glad that she's going to be gone. And then, on the way home, on the bus, somebody had the balls to say to me, oh, I feel bad for your uh, dead friend Lexi because she was an atheist so that means she's going to hell so um, you know I don't see why people have to say stuff like that it's just what do you get out of it I mean it's just mean and stupid and disrespectful so so now it's Christmas break, and I might, Tristan Santana might be coming over tomorrow, and we're going to work on a secret video that will be up, well, that'll be up around Christmas time, so, shh. My question to you, future me, is, um, is the new home group teacher better than Sherry? I sure as hell hope so.